we have that battle the yeah. last 15 years, which is good. Uh, he pushed me and I pushed him as yeah. well. So it's good to be, in a, to be part of history of football. I'm there and uh, of course he's there as well. Cristiano Ronaldo is right. He and his arch rival took their places in the Mount Rushmore of football a long time ago. Although their rivalry has always been fierce and their respective fan bases continue to be at each other's throats, there was never a lack of genuine respect between the two legends, even during the most heated period of their battles. If you're watching this video, chances are you are among the millions of football fans who are heartbroken. Cristiano Ronaldo's injury denied us from seeing him and Messi lock horns in a friendly match between Inter Miami and Al Nasser. Aptly named The Last Dance both by fans and by Turkey Al Al Sheikh, the head of Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority, the exhibition game was what the fans of both legends were looking for since their last meeting in January 2023. Now although The Last Dance didn't happen, fear not, this episode will fill you up with enough love for both CR7 and the Argentine. You won't even remember that they didn't get to meet on February the 1st, 2024. Fun fact, not remembering what happened on that day is also what Leo Messi's teammates are desperately trying to do since they were battered by Al Nasser. Anyways, this is not the episode to kickstart yet another chapter in the CR7 versus La Pulga rivalry. So let's leave the trivial matters aside and dive straight into it. The ever entertaining and era-defining clash between Argentina arguably two of the greatest football players of all time can be summed up in three words. Game recognizes game. And believe it or not, this has always been the case between Cristiano Ronaldo and Leo Messi. But throughout their unbelievable careers that are unfortunately edging closer to their ends, CR7 and La Pulga involuntarily built die-hard fan bases. Not that they needed it, but the fact that they spent the majority of their careers playing for Real Madrid and Barcelona added fuel to the fire. To understand the extent of the mutual respect and admiration these two have for one another, we have to go way back in history. As Cristiano Ronaldo said so many times in the past, they've been at it for such a long time. We shared this stage 15 years, yeah. me and him. I don't know if it's ever happened in football. Mm. The same two guys in the same stage all the time. Yeah. The seeds of the rivalry and respect between the two greats were sown in the early 2000s. Cristiano Ronaldo was the dynamic and explosive forward from Madeira who didn't even need a full 90 minutes to mesmerize Sir Alex Ferguson with his skills. Back then, the legendary Scotsman knew how talented the Portuguese wonder kid was as he nonchalantly ended his team talk by saying, Oh lads, and one final thing, they have a talented young winger. Look out for him, okay? He's strong and agile. He's quite good. What do you know? Sir Alex's analysis was simple, but bang on the money. When Ronaldo had completed his eventual move from Sporting Lisbon to Manchester United, Messi was just about starting his career in Barcelona's B team, having gone through the Catalan club's renowned La Masia Academy. Despite his small stature, which helped him earn the nickname La Pulga in the first place, the young boy from Rosario showed great potential. For so many people who were witnessing him for the first time, what he did on the field didn't even make sense. Ronaldo and Messi were taking baby steps in their careers at best, but even then, both young men had shown that they could become exceptional. And guess what? They didn't waste their time to prove everyone right. In the space of a few years, both Ronaldo and Messi had become must-see television for every football fan. Comparisons between the two were already fierce around 2007, since both had shown that they had a knack for scoring goals. A young Leo Messi was raving about Ronaldo and how awesome it could be if they were to play for the same team. In 2007, in an interview with Record Magazine, Messi said this about his rival. Cristiano Ronaldo is an extraordinary player and it would be brilliant to be in the same team as him. I do not know if that will happen one day, but I would like it to, as he is spectacular. Ronaldo, Messi, and the rest. That was the recurring theme in the media, and they did their best to justify that tape. Playing for two European giants made it inevitable for Cristiano and Messi to face each other at one point. And finally, the day everyone was waiting for came in 2008. To everyone's great surprise, it was a total flop. 
The first leg of the 2007-2008 Champions League semi-final saw a Lionel Messi who was taken out of the game for Bojan Kurkic and a Ronaldo who missed the penalty which could have given his side the advantage only three minutes into the game. It's wild to think that there was once a time when it was actually Bojan who looked like he could be Barcelona's next prodigious talent and a time when Ronaldo couldn't score from the penalty spot. Then again, this was back when Messi and Ronaldo had a total of zero Ballon d'Ors and only eight Champions League goals between them. Chokes aside, the first clash didn't match expectations, and the second was similarly anticlimactic, with neither having a major impact in United's eventual 1-0 victory to reach the Champions League final. The following season, however, Messi would enact his revenge as Barca beat United 2-0 in the 2009 Champions League final, famously scoring the second goal in Rome via a header. The rivalry was already enticing, however it was set to become all the more intense when Ronaldo decided to take the battle to Messi's playground and join Real Madrid. Ronaldo's move to the Spanish capital was a big one, but no one could have predicted what his impact would be on Real Madrid, La Liga, the El Clasico rivalry, or world football in general. Ronaldo, CR7, was actually CR9 back then, since Raul was holding tight to his beloved number 7 shirt, but the number didn't matter, because right from the very first season at Los Blancos, Ronaldo sent the world a message, and that message simply said that he had what it takes to become a Real Madrid legend. The Spanish Giants had signed a magnificent player. Manchester United had received an astronomical transfer fee, at least in those days, and Ronaldo was to make a decent living thanks to his salary. But the real winner of this whole operation was La Liga itself. Even before the first ever El Clasico matchup that saw Ronaldo and Messi going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, the general feeling among football fans was that La Liga now had two of the best players on the planet. Their records, success with their respective clubs, and the total domination of Ballon d'Or rankings for the entire decade that followed were all proof that that assumption was 100% accurate. In any given year, the biggest individual prize in football was a toss-up between the two, as they were spellbindingly brilliant every single year. Now that they were at the top of the world, representing opposite philosophies thanks to the differences between Real Madrid and Barcelona and their local and international fan bases, it was less likely for one or the other to heap praise as Messi had done so back in 2007. Then again, each time they faced one another, there was nothing but respect between the two. In every exchange they had before or during their matchups, the tension of their intense rivalry was there, but so was the recognition of each other's excellence. Even when Messi and friends pulled off the famous Manita, or when the Argentinian came up with the shirt celebration, the same could be said about Ronaldo, who kept his cool during the Copa del Rey exploits against Barca, or his now world-famous celebration, Calma. Back in 2017, at the height of their El Clasico rivalry, Ronaldo was surprised when he was asked if he enjoyed Leo Messi as a player. In an interview with Fox Deportes Latin America, Ronaldo said that they were not friends in the traditional sense of the word, but went on to add that he has been an admirer of the Argentine throughout the years. A mí me gusta ver todos los buenos jugadores y Messi es uno de ellos, es un es un crack. Pero Pero nunca no, me ha hecho mal ninguno a mí ni mi familia. ¿Cómo no voy a, a, a gustar de una persona que, que no me hace mal ninguna? Es por, por lo contrario. Cuando le pregunto de Cristiano, él habla bien de mí también. Así que mi relación con él es cordial y, y nos respetamos mutuamente. Despite the rare but admirative takes on one another, what the media and the fans wanted to see was more of an all-out battle between the two. Even the Ballon d'Or votes were used to envenom their rivalry. Now, it was true that they preferred to vote for their teammates and friends in general, but Messi had included Ronaldo in his top three twice, in 2018 and 2019, and Ronaldo had returned the favour in 2020. During his acceptance speech for his sixth Ballon d'Or, Messi was once again brutally honest about his opponent. When Cristiano Ronaldo pulled level with me, I'll admit that it hurt a little as I was no longer alone at the top. But at that moment, he deserved the Ballon d'Or, and I couldn't do much more about it. The thing that probably made Messi speak openly about Ronaldo after more than a decade was the fact that the Portuguese icon and him were no longer in the same league. Not because Messi had edged him with his latest Ballon d'Or win, but because Ronaldo had decided to leave Real Madrid. The move was significant for many reasons. By the time he left Real Madrid, Ronaldo was the legendary club's top goalscorer and a four-time Champions League winner with Los Blancos, let alone every other achievement he racked up over the years. This was La Liga and European football in general going through a seismic shift, and the same could be said 
about the two legends' relationships. That's why the incredibly viral moment of Ronaldo inviting Messi to a dinner happened when they met in Monaco in 2019 for the Champions League draw. And of course we have a good relationship. We, we have not had a dinner together uh, yet, but really? I hope in the future. <laughs> now, as far as we know, that dinner never took place, but it became this incredibly powerful icebreaker that was viewed over 50 million times all over the world. Ronaldo and Messi would go on to meet each other in the Champions League, but their principal battleground was now barren. When Messi was asked about Ronaldo's decision to leave, what he said showed that he knew full well what the Portuguese star meant for Real Madrid, for La Liga, and in a way, for himself. Yo lo dije al principio de, de temporada que, que obviamente el Madrid le iba a sentir a, a Cristiano, ¿no? Pero es una realidad, ¿no? Un jugador como Cristiano lo, lo extrañaría a cualquier equipo. Un jugador que te hace 50 goles por temporada y que para, para ellos era clave. Obviamente que lo iban a, a extrañar y bueno, la verdad que sí, que lo extraña toda, toda la liga porque que estén todos los... Messi knew that Ronaldo meant loads of goals, loads of trophies, but more than anything, he knew that Ronaldo was a source of prestige for the Spanish league. While Messi was telling the world that not only he, but the whole of La Liga would be missing CR7, the Portuguese forward had been placed in front of the cameras for a documentary. And when the DAZN documentary entitled The Making of Cristiano Ronaldo became available, it felt like the duo was now in another type of competition a competition of flattery. Messi is an excellent player who will go down in history, not only for the Ballon d'Or he won, but also for being a player who was always at the top year after year, just like me. Even though it was a breath of fresh air for Ronaldo and the beginning of an exciting period for Juventus and the Serie A, CR7 leaving Real Madrid meant the end of an era. And for football fans who were still hungry for more El Clasicos that brought the front runners of the GOAT debate together, this was just terrible news. Unfortunately, Ronaldo and Messi locked horns only once more competitively, when Juventus and Barcelona faced each other in the 2020-2021 Champions League group stages. Ronaldo's two goals from the penalty spot gave the Italian side the bragging rights as they left Camp Nou with a 3-0 victory. Regardless of their brilliance and enviable stats, they kept producing in the final seasons in the top European leagues. What seemed impossible for so many years was finally happening. It took a turbulent spell at Manchester United for Ronaldo and a less than ideal interlude at PSG for Messi for us to truly understand it. This was the end. Cristiano Ronaldo and Leo Messi similarly left the European scene, moving to different sides of the world. They were surely bigger than football itself, even if they never admitted it. They were less like football players and more like ambassadors of the beautiful game. As they continue to boost football's popularity in Saudi Arabia and the United States respectively, they're more like fulfilling their last mission to inspire the next generation of footballers. As of today, the last meeting between them was the friendly match that saw Ronaldo's Al Nasser take on Messi's PSG, which now more looks like a charity event than an actual football match. Apart from the game being not at all competitive, compared to previous matches between the two, it was still a day to remember. Not only because we saw both men on the score sheet, but because they once again showed their respect for each other, both on the pitch and off of it. Ronaldo said that it was great to see some old friends, and Messi shared a story where he gave the Portuguese legend a big hug before the match started. Time will only tell if the football gods will give us another game between the two. Even if we have that, according to both men, their rivalry is now a thing of the past, but their respect for one another is everlasting. In an interview with AS in November 2023, Messi called what they had a so-called battle and praised Ronaldo's desire to win everything. And Ronaldo, around the same time, said the most important thing every fan in their respective cohort needed to hear for all these years. Whoever likes Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't have to hate Messi and vice versa. They are both perfect. They have changed the history of football. When they will not be there anymore, we will realize what they have given us, both of them. I always refuse to make a hierarchy on that because they are two different players, completely different players, but two exceptional players who have shown the world for 15 years how great football can be. This was Arsene Wenger talking about the rivalry between the two legends, and you may not like every single idea coming from the renowned French manager, especially if your name is Jose Mourinho, but in all seriousness, his take on Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi might be the best. 
Even if you don't feel that way personally, when they will no longer be around, you'll probably get why he was so right. And with that, we'll be wrapping up today's episode. Let this whole video be a reminder of how lucky we all are to have witnessed the greatness of these two legends. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.